This is what I wake up to. Just drop the camera. Is that just just a camera with a boy? So, mommy, wake up. Wake up. It's nine o'clock. Get up. <laughs> My. No. Oh, it's too early to sleep more. The dates at the moment. I got these three boxes of dates, and they're 2.5 kilo each for $25 each. So I've got three of them because that's basically I've gotten a free box there for what I normally would pay for them. They may or may not be the best dates, they look alright, they look juicy enough, but I don't eat them by themselves anyway, I only have them in smoothies. So doesn't matter and I'm off to pick up some more oranges and a couple more boxes of bananas today as well I'm going to because yesterday I um I thought my banana date smoothie had more calories in it but when I actually weighed the dates per gram after they'd been pitted I found out that I was down I'd underestimated by about three to four hundred calories actually so I was eating less calories than I thought. So instead of 10 dates, I'm going to try 15 dates and see what that works out to once I've pitted them and weighed them. and Because I really need to get more calories in. Yesterday because I had, I had my smoothie and I had the orange juice um, and I did have rice and vegetables and stuff, but I still only ended up at about 23, 24 hundred calories and like I'm trying to get to 4,000 <laughs> so that was a pretty dismal effort and I could tell that I hadn't eaten enough even though my stomach was full I can tell that I haven't eaten enough when I go to bed and I can't sleep really well and or straight away because normally I fall full of sleep like that um so yeah I can tell that I didn't eat enough yesterday even though my stomach was like fairly full so, figuring out ways to get more calories in to get up to the 4,000 mark, if that's possible. And I want to try and do it with whole foods. I could, like, easily add coconut sugar to things or have some more fruit juice, you know, without the fibre in it because that's calories without, you know, filling you up as much. But I would, I'd prefer to try and do it with more natural foods and with the fibres attached I may not be able to. I might have to start adding sugar to stuff and and have more juices and that sort of thing. Um, dried fruits I can only eat a certain amount of just because I'm not a huge fan of them and they kind of they get stuck in my teeth and like sometimes my teeth get sensitive in areas. So I'm not a huge dried fruit per person. I do have my figs. I like these figs. I like dried figs. But again, I can only eat a certain amount of them. I can't eat um, dried dates. They're too sweet. Um, dried apricots. The only other thing I kind of like is dried mango. That's about it. So yeah. Anyway, back to breakfast. So those pitted dates came to... 269 grams, so 270 grams, which is about 100 grams more than yesterday's dates. So I'm just going to chuck them in and get my bananas. Just on my Calorie King counter, just plugged in dates. Going to dried medjool dates. And down the bottom, see how it says date? pitted 24 grams and normally I would just plug in 10 because it had 10 dates but they're not all 24 grams so what was it it was two six nine so I'm going to add that to my breakfast and then it pops up over here that's better so that's 
748 calories. That's good. That's much better. So I might try, I've still got to put the bananas in, but that'll give a bit more of a calorie hit for breakfast. These are my frozen bananas chopped up. And I've got 714 grams of frozen chopped bananas. But before I put them into the blender with the dates, I'm going to chuck some warm water in with the dates because it helps it blend better. Plus I'm putting frozen bananas in and I don't want to have too cold of a smoothie because it's already freezing here. So I put um, warm to hot water in with it, not boiling because it'll burst, break the jug. But um, yes, so I put one of these glasses full of warm to hot water in with the dates. Give that a whizzy dizzy for a good long while because I don't like chunks. Um, then I'll put the bananas in and put another, um, this is about 800 mils. So that comes to, oh no, sorry, 400. So two of these is 800 mil. So nearly a litre. So I'm going to do that now. That's pretty creamy. The dates just in the water. I actually put in another half a glass of water because I have extra dates and I didn't, and it needs it needed a little bit more. So I'm going to chuck in also, I forgot to mention, some of these vanilla drops. Just for taste, just to make it taste um, nice and vanilla-y. And it tastes kind of vanilla ice creamy actually. It's been a long time since I've had vanilla ice cream, so it's not going to taste exactly the same, but it does have that flavour to it. <clears throat> Get this dangerously near the top, actually. <laughs> Very full. This jug is only one and a half litres. Um, and a lovely friend of Facebook friend of mine, Karen Gray, she's offered to give me her old Vitamix that she doesn't use. So I'm going to pick that up on Sunday, and I'm pretty sure the Vitamix, um, the Vitamix are a two litre jug. So that would actually that that might actually help because I kind of prefer my smoothies a bit more on the watery side than on the thick side. So and that'll help me get in more calories because I'll be able to fill up the two liter jug instead of the one and a half liter jug. It'll still take me till two o'clock. It's like eight fifty now. <laughs> it'll still take me till two o'clock to probably drink it. Anyway. I'll get a hurry because I've got a Skype chat with uh, Jojo at 10 o'clock. But I chuck it in to drink it. I don't like drinking out of these just because they're too heavy and I end up spilling it all over my face. So I take it from that and just put it into the glass and drink it from the glass. If I'm traveling, I will put it in one of these bottles with the lid on it just because it's easier to hold. And you can drink it in the car. Only thing with these is they're a bit harder to clean because you can't get the sponge in and really, you know, dig in there and clean it. But it still works. So yeah. So back on to my calorie king counter. I use calorie king because I already had it. Um, because I've been a calorie tracker for a very long time. Um, most people use chronometer, chronometer.com, but just because it's, um, free, this one wasn't free. This is about $40. So what was it about? 715 grams, 715 grams of banana bananas. So I chucked that up, um, onto the breakfast part of it. And I chose bananas common without skin because mine were already peeled and frozen. I'm not sure if the frozen weight changes the actual weight of it, like when it freezes. Like, does it draw more moisture from the atmosphere and add weight in frozen water? I don't know. Maybe someone can tell me that. So anyway, uh, 1,177, that's pretty good for breakfast. That's pretty much what I thought I was doing prior to um, weighing the dates per gram. I've already um, 
drink my litre of water, I do that. I drink half of it when I first get up and then half a little bit later, like before my breakfast, so. I end up having my Skype date with Jojo, I think. We got the times mixed up or something. Anyway, because when I, we were going to catch up 10 a.m. my time, which was supposed to be like 8.30 p.m. her time, but when I got onto Skype, it was like, it showed that it was like 1 a.m. her time. So, I don't know. We might something up with that. But anyway, it's like about 11 o'clock, and i am nearly finished my smoothie. So I'm getting in the calories earlier, but it's easier today because I'm not, I'm not working this morning. I'm not training this morning. It's like my one morning off that I have a week. I work seven days a week. Um, and I'm be training tonight. So I've got a, an hour cycle class at five and then I've got an hour yoga class at 7.30. So I'm just going to chill out a bit for the, during the day. I'm a bit tired today, actually, which will be because of not getting in enough calories yesterday. I think I ended up at 23, 2400 yesterday and I was aiming for 4,000. <laughs> so yeah, didn't get there, but working on it, I just gotta keep pushing. Um, yeah, so I've already nearly finished my smoothie. It took me till like two o'clock yesterday to finish my smoothie. And it's a, more dense smoothie. It's got higher calories in it. Um, so yeah, I'll just be taking Lou for a walk, Lecky Lou for a walk, and picking up some more fruit today, and then I'll be off to my classes. But yeah, going to get in more calories, so I've got more energy. Now that explains why I'm a bit more tired today. I just got my period, and. I'm just watching if I can make it work, which it's not. Mm. I'm just watching you can see, watching Harley eat durian. I'm freaking jealous. Why can't we have good durian in Australia? so easily just be raw if we could get some durian over here and some decent fruit and some variety of good variety of fruit but anyway we do the best that we can with what we have so I'm making up my lunch which is going to be a couple of liters of orange juice I don't have a ton of oranges left. I've still got to pick some up, but I'm waiting for my fruit guy. My fruit guy to send me an SMS to tell me that my bananas and my oranges are ready. I'm really freaking tired today. <sighs> Must be just like period, not enough, not enough carbs yesterday. I don't know, but I'm just going with it and having a chill, chill day up until I have to go and teach my cycle class and my yoga class. It's a good thing that I teach group fitness because there are times I reckon that maybe I wouldn't exercise as much if I didn't, but then, you know, once I get there and get into it, I'm like good and I'm loving it. So it's good motivation to get paid to get fit and teach other people to get fit. So yeah. So I did manage to get two liter out of that, the leftover oranges. And I'll pick up some more oranges and bananas on my way to my cycle class. We've got the little Fuess has come out of a little hidey hole to say hello to YouTube world. Haven't you Fuess Fuess? Little Fuess. Mm. Little Purr Bum. Little Purr Bum. So loves the little cuddles this one. Can you not walk on the computer? Get off. What's with cats walking on computers, huh? What's with it? What's with it, Fuess? Place to sit. Isn't it Fuess Fuess? <laughs> yeah.
hear the purr? Can you hear the purr? I have to pick up my fruit and to do my cycle class. I'm still pretty tired, but I'll get over it once I get going. I've still got a liter of orange juice to drink. I've only drank the, that last liter. Um, so I'm already on about 2,200 calories today. And then I've um, SMS Rob because he's still at work to make up some either rice or potatoes or something so I can just have that when I get home from my yoga class. Um, I'll take a take some figs with me too that I can mung on on the way, but I, I reckon the orange juice is probably going to cover me. So, I'm off. So I had a good cycle class and good yoga class. I actually had to teach teenage boys to do cycle. That was an experience. I've never done a cycle class like that before. Um, and so, yep, I got home. Rob's cooked some potatoes. Slightly overcooked. Shh, don't tell him. But, um, yeah, I'm boiling up some, some rice. I'm going to make myself a couple of nori rolls as well. It is do a little bit overcooked. More than a little bit overcooked. But they'll be alright. I'll just chuck some some sauce on them. Some tomato, some tomato sauce. I'll just nibble on those. And cooking up some rice. I'm just going to make myself up some nori rolls with... Um, some lettuce, zucchini, carrot, and beetroot. So, and a bit of Dijon, a bit of Dijonese, and a few squirts of that, just because it's it's a bit it's less salty than soy sauce, and the spray part makes you not put too much on. So yeah, I'm just looking at my calorie king. Um, the day and I ended up on 32 well nearly 3300 calories so I'm getting closer doing a bit better today yep and got in a couple of hours of exercise as well so then I'll be off to bed because it's like I get home from my last class till like 9 o'clock and I'm trying to get to bed early but that's clearly not going to happen tonight but at least if I'm in bed by about 10.30 because I've got to be up early. Well, early for me. I've got an earlier class tomorrow. Anyway, bye-bye. Someone's waiting for me to go to bed, aren't they? Is that what you're doing? Huh? There's no pussycat in there. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going to bed now. Bit of a naughty one, it's 11 o'clock, and someone's telling me that they need to go to bed, mummy. Let's go to bed. Is that what you're saying, Lou? She won't go to bed till I go to bed. She doesn't get up till I get up. Do you, Lucky? Alright, gotta go to bed. No nights.